Hey guys, listen up. I'm about to reveal to you the one pattern you'll need to master day trading. This is the one and only pattern that matters. This exact pattern is one of the cornerstones of my profitability and is gonna help you pick exact tops and bottoms of markets or price lag. All of your idols in some form or another use this one pattern in their trading. ICT, DTFX, LEA Wave Theory. All of them rely on this one chart pattern. Morning stars, double bottoms, rectangles, triangles, all of them are useless compared to the... Welcome back guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Lex and I've been a trading coach and mentor for the past two years. And today we're gonna be talking about one of the most important chart patterns out there that everybody uses, but maybe don't realize they're using. Okay, and that's called the reversal pattern. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. I'm going to show you examples of it in charts and I'll show you how I use it in my own trading, use my own experience. Now, if that interests you, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this and don't forget to leave a like, okay? Let's get into it. So here's the model. What does this remind you of? A head and shoulders maybe? An Elliott wave, five wave structure? A market structure break? Those are all interpretations of the same thing the reversal pattern. So essentially what this consists of is a trend in a specific direction. What we're looking at is consecutive higher highs, high, 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 and consecutive higher lows, higher low, higher low. And then we're looking at a lower low forming, okay? Lower low forming, breaking the structure of the market. Breaking the structure of the market. Then what we're looking for is a lower high to form, confirming the reversal. Once you really get confirmation is when that high, then price action breaks below the low that created that high, okay? That is the textbook reversal pattern and vice versa for a bullish reversal. We have consecutive lower lows and, high, and lower highs, okay? Lower low, lower high, and then all of a sudden we have another lower low, then now we have a still a lower high, a higher low, but then we have a higher high, breaking the structure here, breaking the structure of the market. Now, to confirm the reversal, we're looking for a higher low to form, higher than this low, right? Because this low here is the, high, is the low that was created from the high here. It's the ultimate low. So if we're using this high as the market structure break, we need to be using this low as our telltale low that we are in a reversal pattern, okay? Price could theoretically, price could theoretically come lower here, okay? And it would still be a reversal pattern, right? This would not be a market structure break to the downside. This would still confirm a reversal pattern because this is the ultimate low, whereas this is just intermediate structure within, okay? That's very important to know. And that's one of the main things that I see a lot of people messing up on when it comes to reversal patterns or market structure, okay? You wanna be looking at your ultimate highs and your ultimate lows and not necessarily the structure within, okay? This is fractal and you're gonna be able to find this on all time frames, whether you're looking at it on the one minute, the five minute, the 30 second, on every time frame, you're gonna see this fractal giving you some sort of a clue of a reversal. This is very basic, everybody understands this, it's not complicated, and yet I see people online trying to complicate this pattern more than it should be. It's a very basic pattern that everybody utilizes in their trading, whether they want to admit it or not, which completely signifies a complete change in direction of the market. So, one more time, what are we looking for for a bearish reversal, okay? We're, connect, we're looking at consistent higher highs, consecutive higher highs, and consecutive higher lows, right? That's your typical market structure. We're in a bullish trend in this price leg, bullish trend, up until we break structure to the downside here, breaking structure to the downside. This gives you your first clue that we're reversing, that the market's about to pull a reversal and that we might be offside on the trend here, on the bullish trend. Then what we're looking, to, what we're looking at to confirm the reversal is a lower high to form, okay? And you only get the confirmation that this is a lower high once the price leg after it breaks this lowest low now, okay? Provided that this high never breaks this high, right? Provided that this high never breaks this high, which is the ultimate high that led to the low that broke structure, 
as long as we don't pass that high, this is a lower high. And if this, even if this came up to this level, right over here, okay, we're still within that last price leg. This is a lower high that broke structure now to this downside. This is your reversal pattern. This is your confirmation that now we are shifting directions and we're going into the opposite side of the range. Same thing on the opposite side, right? Same thing for a bullish reversal. Same exact thing. Consecutive lower lows, consecutive lower highs until eventually we break the high that led to your lowest low. Not this high. This high doesn't matter. What matters is this high right here, okay? If you use this high right down here, you're going to get tripped up. You're going to get stopped out. You're going to get screwed over, okay? I've been there. I've tested it all. You can ask your famous gurus. They're all going to tell you you want to use the high that led to the low or the low that led to the high. So now once this high has been broken, provided that this low right here does not go lower than this low, does not go lower than this low, we have a confirmation of the reversal. It's pretty simple. It's not complicated. Now it's about looking at charts, getting that experience of looking at price action and seeing this stuff, seeing it play out in real time. And I'm telling you, my premium members, a lot of them were amazed by this because this isn't how they were. They used to be trading. They used to be trading just with support and resistance levels, okay? Not, con not considering market structure at all. Look at what they think, okay? Some of them are seeing the light for the first time. So let's look at some examples now. So just opening up this chart right now of current price action, okay? Current price action. This is one that we're actually, me and my premium community are in a trade in at the moment where we had our consecutive higher highs, higher high, and then the ultimate high here. Now we've finally broken structure. So now what are we expecting? Now we're expecting a lower high to form, okay? There's some, some other little tidbits that you want to add into there to confirm that or to be looking for specific levels to enter if you want to short prematurely here. Uh, things like liquidity, things like imbalances, stuff like that. But regardless, what we're looking at now, confirmed, now we have a lower high, okay? And we're waiting for this low right here to be broken, to completely confirm that this is a reversal pattern. Okay, we want that low to be broken for it now to be a reversal pattern. Uh, that's a trade that we're in in the premium community. We got in right at the fill of this wick here. I'm not gonna give you the exact specifics of how we got in there, but that's where we got in. And now we're targeting the bottom side, the origin of the move, okay? That's neither here nor there. So let's look at some other examples, okay? Right here, what do we see? Like I said, this is fractal and it goes out on different time frames or, or different um, sizes of price legs, okay? What do we see here? Let's look at, let's start with this green box here. What do we have here? We have high, not quite broken, not quite broken, higher highs, okay? We have consistent higher highs. So we have this high here, this broke here. Consistent, consecutive, higher highs. But what happens, whether you use this low, and if you wanna be very, very tight with, your, uh, with which low you're using, or this low, what happens here? We've now broken structure to the downside, right? So what are we expecting next? Now that we have a lower low, we put in a lower low, what are we expecting next? Well, a lower high, right, right here. Lower high, broke structure to the downside. Again, we got our double market structure break, sending it down. Textbook reversal pattern. Break down, break the low, retrace back into the previous price leg. Okay, retracing back into the previous price leg, sending it down. Okay, perfect example. So now, what about this here? What about this green box? What do we see here? This one didn't reverse, right? We have big low forming, but then we go and take the highs. What happened here? Well, we never got our market structure break, right? We never got our lower low to break the structure of the market. Here, we would have had to have a close below, a close below this level, big red candle closing below that level to confirm a break in structure then 
we'd be looking for a lower high to form. Doesn't necessarily mean that a lower high is gonna form, doesn't necessarily mean just because you have a market structure break that you're gonna have a lower high, but there are techniques that you can use to predict whether there is going to be a lower high, okay? And that's stuff that I teach in my premium community, and that's stuff that you can, I'm sure you could find somewhere on YouTube, okay? Um, there's a lot of really good information out there, but regardless, we didn't have the market structure break here, so what happened? Price kept moving up, broke above, broke structure, and then finally did what happened here. Now, let's look at this little price leg here. What happened here? We have lower highs and lower lows forming, right? You can see that you just draw a trend line. You can lower highs, right? Lower highs, lower lows, okay? What do we have right here? Okay, this is our high. Oh, perfect example of um, breaks and structures that don't necessarily always equate to a full reversal, right? Break and structure here, okay? Cracks back down. No confirmation. No confirmation there, okay? So now, let's consider this, okay? We have our low. We have came above this high, right? But is that a break in structure? No, because this is the low. This is the, the high that led to the low, not this one. This is the high that led to the low. So where do we have our market structure break then? Where are we looking for our potential reversal? Well, we're looking to break here, break above here. What do we get? Break above, retest into the price leg, the low, higher low, a uh, higher high, higher low, right here. Reversal pattern, exactly right there, reversal pattern. So now we've seen one, two, one after another, showing you perfect textbook reversals while we're essentially in this very tight little range here, okay? Just goes to show how fractal it is. Just goes to show how fractal it is and how you can see these reversal patterns everywhere. You can use them on the higher time frames to get these major swings, or you can scalp it on the five minute. You can be looking at little reversals in price here and there to be able to like, to be able to go long and then go short and then go long if you wanna be a scalper and, and be in 90 trades a day, okay? This is what you're looking for, okay? Let's move on to XRP. Some more examples here, okay? Low, uh, lower high, lower highs, lower lows, okay? Lower highs. What do we have right here? We have the ultimate, the high, leading to the low, okay? Leading to the low, high, breaking above here. This is the ultimate move, right? This is the move, not this high. Going above, coming back, creating a new low, right? So when do we start looking at this and expecting a reversal? Well, that would be when we would break now this high because this low higher price leg, cracks back down to create the ultimate low, okay? Not this high right afterwards, and it's kind of hard to see right now, so I'll zoom in a bit. We're not using this, this high that ended up forming because never broke the low. This is the low now, this is the ultimate low. So we're not using this low, this is all intermediate price action. Where do we get our break of structure? Right here. What are we doing? retesting into the price leg. You're gonna have different, you're gonna have varying depths of retraces into the price leg, okay? There's different for, There's different people out there who, who talk about different percentages that, that it's gonna retrace in, or you're looking for an imbalance fill or something like that. Those are just extra little bit of confluences to help you pick the perfect entry, okay? What matters is the pattern more so than the entry. You wanna nail the pattern down first and then nail your entry and your risk management, okay? drop back down into the price leg to eventually keep moving up, keep moving up and creating these consistently higher highs and higher lows, okay? Over here, what are we looking at over here? Okay, we have high that led to the low here, that led to the ultimate low, but is this actually, the, oh, 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 what is that? Is that my trade? 
Is that my trade? Okay. This is the trade that we're in right now with the premium community. We broke this line. We broke below now this level. So let's see if we have some follow through to the downside. But we're essentially using a reversal pattern here live. Here's the perfect example. We'll see what ends up happening. If this doesn't go to full profit, I'll cut it out. But hey, we'll see. Anyways, let's go back. XRP. Actually, it's set an alert right about down here for a bar close below. Uh, ones per bar close. Boom. A few different examples there. Okay. Now, you can see this again. Let's go out onto maybe the hourly. Let's just spot out some, some examples here that aren't quite cherry picked. Okay. Well, perfect example. One that we live traded with my, with my community. Okay. We literally traded this with my community. This is the low leading to the high, the ultimate high here. What happens now when we break this low? We have our market structure break to the downside. Okay. Big violent move. Now what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the expectations now that we have a lower high form. So what's this? That's a lower high. Okay. Price comes back down, never breaks, never breaks back to the downside to confirm the reversal. But you know, we come back down, come up a little bit, just kind of hang around this level before we ultimately crack down, confirming full out the reversal. These, this is the cornerstone of my trading. This pattern here, once you start implementing it and you start implementing some other key metrics or some key concepts, can completely change your profitability, can completely improve your profitability. If you're someone who's never won a trade, using this, even without the extra little bit of concepts, you could potentially get your first or second win. Um, if you're a unprofitable trader, this could help you get to break even. To get and then to the next level. If you're a break-even trader and you haven't quite developed the skills yet to be profitable consistently, I promise you looking at this model, the reversal pattern is going to help you, especially if you start implementing some of the concepts like liquidity, liquidity sweeps. That's one of the main things that I'm looking for when I'm looking for my reversal pattern, okay, to confirm reversal patterns and to get in early. Let's look at this trade that we're in with the premium community. What do we have that formed here? We have a liquidity sweep above these previous highs, okay? But th these previous highs were something else also. They were the previous week's high, okay? Key level in your trading that you need to think of, that you need to remember. Previous week high, previous week low. I'll have a whole video on that in the future coming out. As of now, we have a key sweep of a high here, which is something we talk about in the premium community, just saying, key sweep of the high, close below, okay? That's the first step. You have a key sweep. Then you have a reversal pattern forming, okay? Reversal patterns in the middle of a range are going to get you killed. You might get one or two good trades out of there. You might be able to follow intermediate structures reversal pattern, okay? But over the long term, what you want is to deal at the extremities of the ranges after you've seen liquidity sweeps. That is one of the main things I'm trying to teach my students. And one of the main cornerstones of why I'm profitable as a trader. I'm looking for liquidity sweeps, break of structures, reversal pattern, okay? This is exactly what we've had here. Complete, re complete sweep of a high, of a key high, reversal pattern. Boom, we've broken the low now. We've confirmed the reversal pattern. Broke structure, popped up, lower high, dropped below that low, confirmed. Okay? It's that simple. It's that, that simple. You don't need to complicate it. You don't need to add order blocks. You don't need to add fair value gaps. You, you don't need to add Fibonacci and all that bullshit. You just need to understand this pattern and start applying it into your training. Like I said... You don't want to be necessarily using this just in the middle of the range anytime you see some breaks of structures, okay? Just trading market structure breaks can easily get you chopped up, especially in the crypto markets, 
okay, where there's a lot more volatility. You want to be looking for them at extremes of ranges or after key highs or key lows have been swept, okay? So guys, that's all I got for today. I hope you've learned something new from this. I hope that you're going to maybe start implementing some of this into your own trading and that it's going to help you become more profitable. I promise you, if you start implementing these things correctly or you start internalizing price in this way, thinking about sweeps, thinking about key institutional levels being taken, looking at reversal patterns, you're going to become a more profitable trader. It's the only model you need. All you need is a reversal pattern. That's it. You don't need to be thinking about double unicorn, Medusa, um, whatever fancy term they come out with, okay? You don't need to have these crazy, tra crazy trading strategies or algos or whatever it is. All you need to understand is this. I'm, I'm telling you, it's that simple, okay? If you liked the video, if you found it interesting, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna be releasing more videos like this uh, more often. Additionally, if you're, if you're looking for a community of traders to, to be a part of. Uh, you can join my community called Income Mastery. We have a whole bunch of traders in there doing a whole bunch of different things. We have people doing harmonic patterns. We have people doing a whole bunch of stuff in there. So if that is the kind of trading that you like, or you like a non-dogmatic free trading community, make sure to join Income Mastery, okay? If you're trying to take your trading to the next level, all these alerts for my trade, um, if you're trying to take trading to the next level, okay, and you want to learn directly from me, you can join the I am trading course, okay, income mastery trading. That's what it, I am stands for. Even if you're a beginner trader or you're an intermediate trader or an advanced trader, there's information in there for all sorts of people. So if that interests you, make sure to join. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Peace.